everyone, my name is Manor and welcome back to Page Turners, which is our diverse book club geared towards teens and young adults. Today we're going to be discussing the book Sway With Me by Saeed Masood, but before we get started, I'm going to be listing some content and trigger warnings for you right here. And I will say that this review might contain some spoilers, so if you don't want any spoilers, now's your chance to click off the video. Okay, let's get into it. Sway With Me focuses on our main character, Arsalan Nizami, who lives with his 100-year-old great-grandfather, whom he calls Nana. We find out pretty early on that Arsalan's mom died in a car accident when he was pretty young and suffered a lot of abuse from his alcoholic father, who lives in Arizona. He sends Arsalan a lot of letters, but Arsalan never really replies to them. Arsalan is really worried about his future, especially for what will happen to him after his Nana passes away, when his Nana passes away, and he also wants to make good on a promise that he made to his mom before she died, which was to find love. To do this, he wants to enlist the help of Roshni, who is a well-known matchmaker in the Sacramento area. And she also happens to be the stepmother of not only Arsalan's teacher, Irat, but also one of his classmates, Beanish, and their sisters. Beanish is looking for a dance partner for her sister's wedding and agrees to help Arsalan get into contact with Roshni if he agrees to be her dance partner. Arsalan doesn't know how to dance but he agrees anyway because he really needs to find love and they also have this entire transformation scene because he dresses kind of nerdy and he's very different from everyone else in school and it's just like the movies and it's actually really adorable. He also finds out that he has a little bit of a similarity with Beanish in the sense that both of them are not very close with a particular parent, Arsalan with his dad and Beanish with her mom. Beanish's mom, Aiza, was a very famous Lollywood actress, which is Pakistan's version of Hollywood, and she had a couple of dance scenes in movies that were deemed immodest by the public, and her career kind of went downhill because of that. This also brought shame upon their family, which caused Beanish and Girat's dad to divorce Aiza and to marry Roshni, their stepmother. However, Roshni doesn't really want either of them around, so she's trying to get them married off, and we find out that Girat is getting married to a very awful man, and Beanish is trying to stop this wedding from happening. So as rehearsals continue, we get to see that Arsalan's dancing gets a lot better. He and Beanish spend a lot of time together. His Nana actually loves Beanish, especially when she comes around and she plays chess with him. During this time, the number of letters he's receiving from his dad begin to increase. He mentions that he's coming to Sacramento and plans on taking Arsalan back to Arizona with him. Now, Arsalan obviously does not want Want to go but he also wants to protect his nana from his dad and he feels like he doesn't have a choice in the meantime Arsalan actually helps Venus to rekindle her relationship with her mom, Aiza, even though it is a work in progress. She actually ends up helping Venus and Arsalan with their performance for Girat's wedding. And unfortunately, Arsalan's dad does indeed show up. They end up going to a diner where they have a heart-to-heart, -heart, which is a really bad heart to heart it was very very bad it was really hurtful it was really sad i felt myself just almost wanting to cry for arsalan however throughout this entire process arsalan realizes that he has a sort of found family that surrounds him and they'll do anything to help him and his nana out and support him 100 percent am i allowed to have a favorite book in this series that we've cultivated together because if I am, then this is definitely my favorite so far. I think it's some of the best Muslim representation I've seen in young adult novels because it's just honest. Masood makes sure to show you that Muslims are not a monolith and that there are a variety of us that exist in the world so you get to see varying perspectives of Muslims in this novel. He also touches on a lot of nuances in Pakistani culture which I really appreciated especially because I'm also Pakistani American especially with the what are people gonna say discourse that is always rampant within our community and also showing how differently our generations think. I'm also a sucker for a good 
found family trope and it actually made me tear up a little bit while I was reading this book because it was just so wholesome. I would highly, highly recommend y'all consider checking this one out and I hope you love it as much as I did and we'll see you next time. Thank you.